hello. I am just sitting out here in my backyard uh, after a day of work and I got a fun package in the mail today from Mary Stockings. I'm so excited because I've never ordered from them before. Uh, I signed up for an account and uh, apparently they have a rewards program where you earn points and you get discounts and stuff like that on their felt kits. So I went ahead and bought one and I'm going to open it up and show you what I got. I'm very excited about it. So let me turn it over. All right, and I'm going to try to do this while holding my phone in my hand, which might not work out. So uh, I may I may not be able to do this one-handed. Hold on. All right, I got it started here. see which one it is. Harvest ornaments. Oh my gosh, look at those. Pumpkin pie, turkey, sunflowers, fall leaves, basket of apples. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? So I have never done a Mary Stockings kit before. I've only done the Pusilla, so we shall see. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm probably not going to open this all up and look at it right now because I would like to have you on a tripod when I do that. I mean, I guess I could go get my tripod and set it up. But, oh, I'm excited. So, yes, we'll definitely dig into this. Well, maybe we'll dig into it when I get ready to start it. But I want to finish my vintage Halloween kit uh, first. And it looks like they sent me a catalog, too. This looks like a new one from the one I've seen. So we'll have to maybe do a flip through of this. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, open this kit up and see what's inside. So I'm sitting outside because my lighting inside my house right now, as it's getting sort of late in the evening, on an overcast day, and it's kind of dark in there. So I thought I would come out here and open this up. All right. So, oh, looks like it's got some really pretty... Well, fall harvest color sequins. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, oh, yep. And there they go flying. Okay, I retrieved them all. All right, so we've got this, and it's kind of glary, but you got some gold. And some orange. Ooh, I hear an owl. Do you hear that owl? Fall is in the air. Okay, and then we've got uh, sort of these brownish colored ones here. Very pretty. And then some white ones. So far, it's looking a lot like a Bucilla kit. All right, and these are the beads. We've got uh, black and two packs of the clear. And here are the colors of floss, what you would expect for some harvest colors. And the thread feels very high quality, feels like DMC. Oh yeah, nice. And what is this envelope here? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing needles. Oh, two packs. Oh yeah, okay, so we've got a number 10 bead needle and a number 7 cruel embroidery needle. So yes, you can just see it down inside the pack in there. It's just loose. So, okay, very nice, very nice. And let's just take a quick gander at some of the felt pieces. The stamps look good, nice and clear. Sharp to read. This looks a little thin, but I think uh, even the Bucilla kit, sometimes the different colors are kind of thin. But you can see the stamp really nicely, though, so that's good. Some of it looks a little bit faded right here, but uh, still very easy to see, though, so far. Yeah, feels like some good quality. It's nice, nicely packed. 
And, ooh, I like the color of that brown. It's kind of mottled. Ooh, very pretty. Ooh, and this is a very bright red for the apples. Ooh, I am so excited to start this. And now yeah, we've got some of the turkey parts there. And the pumpkins. Mmm. Kind of weird. Some of the felt is really stiff. Uh, this is a very stiff piece and thick, almost like kind of like a, on, in the bucilicates, the white always feels like that. I don't know if that stamp is showing up. It's showing up a little better, I think, in real life than it is out here, but you've got that. And then this color for the pumpkin pie. Nice crust color. Yeah, very nice. And then it's got a very, ooh, a very nice set of instructions. Very impressed with the thick booklet with um, some, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on, on uh, video or not. I mean, I'll just give you a little glimpse there of, look at that, how nice. A pattern. Oh, I can tell you, I like these instructions a lot better than the Bucilla kits. So I am very excited about it. All right. Well, I can't wait to dig into this uh, and let me know if you've started this. I think it's brand new for this year, for, 20, for fall of 2022. So I will see you in the next part when I actually start working on some of these. Good morning. It is October 3rd, and I wanted to show you that I made a little bit of progress on harvest ornaments, but only in uh, the cutting out arena. I have not attempted to assemble any of these yet, but... I did want to show you where I'm at and um, tell you that I am then going to put this one on the back burner maybe until November because I wanted to stitch Witch's Brew. And let's, let me grab that and that is this kit right here. Bucilla, won't fit in the screen, Bucilla's Witch's Brew. I'm going to dive into this uh, and work on it in October this month. So actually as soon as I'm done filming this clip I'm going to uh, do an un an unboxing or an unbagging of this. But I did want to show you my progress here on this. Um, I cut all the pieces out. So let's just quickly take a look at those. Let me put that over here to the side and take a quick look at just some of the pieces. So this is going to be the sunflower. It's got all these little pieces here. And I was just kind of glancing at the directions, and I, I almost feel like these don't really require a lot of stuffing. I have to look. So remember, this is um, a Mary stocking. Of course, you know that because you just saw that clip, even though I filmed that a while ago. But it, it doesn't look like a lot of these require any stuffing. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes together because I don't know if they use cardboard either, so I'm not sure what kind of gives them stability, but I'll know more as I uh, start to assemble them. But right now, I just cut the pieces. So we'll just kind of take a quick look at those. And so there you have the, the sunflower. All right, uh, what's next? This here is going to be this little design right here of a pumpkin. Just a little bit of a background. These were a little tedious to cut out, these little leaves. Cute pumpkin there. Okay, actually I won't take the time to bag those. I'll do that afterwards. This one's going to be really cute, the pumpkin pie. <laughs> That's adorable probably going to be the one I do first. So I have not really had any issues with there being any folds in my felt up until this point and I have um, seen mixed um, ideas about whether or not you need to iron them or not. So I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to iron this. I haven't really had to up until this point. So we'll see. I don't really need to think about that now. Um, I do need to, I think, um, I had seen a YouTube video of somebody showing how they iron it. Most of them don't really need it, but this is going to be the apple basket with all these 
adorable little apple. All right, two more here. This one is going to be this leaf and acorn set. Very cute. This one probably has the most embroidery in it because you have to do all the embroidery on the uh, on the leaves there. Finally, we got this little turkey there, and all his little pieces and parts. I don't want to lose any of them, so I'm just trying to keep them together here, but you get the idea. This little body. So, all right, those are going to be cute. So I'm going to revisit these in November. That's my plan anyway, and I'll be back with you then to show you what I get done. All right, I'll see you soon. And just like that, it is November, and I have some finished ornaments to share with you. I didn't realize that uh, the first clip that I did of this video was all the way back in September, and uh, that the second clip was at the beginning of October, and now it is November 16th. And I have all six of these finished to show you. But before we do that, I did want to give one more final review now that I've completed the whole kit. I wanted to share my thoughts. So as I said in the beginning, I loved the instructions. So, okay, let's backtrack for a second and say now the only thing I have really to compare this to is the Bucilla kits because those are the only two that I've done. And this is nothing to, this is not to say anything bad about Bucilla kits because so far the ones I've done, I've absolutely loved. Uh, this is more just a kind of a comparison of some differences that I saw between the two. Okay, with my coffee out of the way. So when you look at these, you can just at a glance, look at the diagram. And I mean, you know, it, it obviously helps to read the instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions, but then at a quick glance, I like how the instructions of how to assemble it and then the diagram that shows, you know, just a quick at a glance, like brown sequins here, outline stitch in two strands of orange floss. So, you know, you can just quickly refer back to it. And I liked that about this. I just loved the color diagram. So five stars on the instruction booklet. Next up was the floss. And I had said when I first opened the package that it felt like DMC floss, and it, it definitely does. Now, I think Bucilla kits use DMC, but I think it's their line of floss that's meant more for like, um, oh, friendship bracelets and crafty, things like that. So it is, it tangles easy, it breaks more easily, and is just a little bit less of quality than the six-stranded DMC that I use for cross-stitching, which this feels like. So five stars on the floss because it it was amazing to work with and they gave me plenty so I don't know this is probably has more to do with me than the kit but I have plenty of brown left uh, but I did actually run out of I think the yellow and there might have been another color maybe not maybe it was just the yellow that I ran out of but that could have just been me uh, you know not conserving the floss as, as good as I should have. So five stars on the floss. Next up was the sequins and okay these sequins were amazing. Once again I'm only comparing them to the ones in the Bucilla kits but a lot of times in the Bucilla kits I've noticed that the sequins are kind of flat and on the back side the color has kind of worn down on them. But these sequins, I don't know what they use, but if you listen they actually have like a sustenance to them when I shake this. I mean, these are like some thick, high quality sequins that, you know, are very bright and very cupped in shape and don't seem to have um, any color worn off of them. So I was very impressed with the sequins. So five stars on the sequins. And last but not least, they give so much extra felt in their kits that you could I think you can maybe even make two of each of these ornaments because there's so much extra floss uh, felt. So that was a bonus. As a matter of fact, I think I did have to use some extra orange for something. Oh, I know what I did. I had, I think I used some orange in another kit. 
uh, for a piece in another kit. So yeah, five stars on the amount of extra felt that they give you. <laughs> so as you can tell, I think overall, I'm just giving this kit five stars, a five stars plus because I was very impressed. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to show you my finishes. Um, all right, I'll show them to you in the order that I did them because uh, it's not the order that it shows to do in the book, but I really wanted to dive into this pumpkin pie. Now, this, now the instructions say not to stuff this one, so I didn't. It said to stuff the, the, the Cool Whip on top, but not the actual body of the pumpkin, so I didn't do that, or the pie, I should say. Um, and I thought, well, I'm going to wait and see how the rest of the ornaments turn out, and, you know, it's cute. I asked my husband, I said, do you think this should be stuffed? And he says, no, that it, it looks dimensional as it is, so it doesn't necessarily need to have stuffing. But I might go back and just cut a little slit here and stuff a little bit of stuffing in the back. And then, you know, maybe cover up my, my uh, cut with some, like, just an outline stitch or something like that. But I don't know. I mean, it's cute either way. So, uh, yeah, it has me stuff three of them, and three of them it doesn't. So this is, let's see, which one did I do next? I did, oh yeah, I did the apple basket next, because I was just dying to do these little apples. And this one, uh, it did say to stuff it, so I stuffed this one. And if you look, I had to make tiny little twisted cording for those little stems. So I thought that was just an adorable little touch. I might have made mine a little too long, but that's okay. And uh, some embroidery on that. Some, oh yeah, that's another thing. The all of the out they, they call it an outline stitch in this kit, but when they show the diagram, it's actually showing uh, to do a, a stem stitch, which I kind of like the way a stem stitch looks versus an outline stitch. There's a subtle difference, but. I kind of enjoyed uh, the way that that looked. It gives it more of a twisted look. So there's the apple basket. Next up, I did the sunflower. And this one uh, did not require stuffing, so it's just flat like the pumpkin pie. So I do think it was intentional that they wanted three of them to be stuffed lightly and three of them not to be because this has quite a few more layers on it that it actually has some some you know, weight and some, uh, I don't know, it's, it's got some body to it. So it feels a little bit, not quite as thin as the pumpkin pie. But uh, this one, oh, this might be why I ran out of the yellow floss is because when I was done, when I added the sequins, there was nothing on the back to cover up my stitches. So I actually cut some extra yellow floss and I backed all of these little petals with yellow felt so that you wouldn't see my sequins. And um, yeah, I think it turned out adorable. All these little seeds here were cute and fun to do. Some of them are laying a little wonky, but that's okay. It's a sunflower. All right, and next up we have the turkey. This is definitely my favorite one, and I stuffed him, I stuffed him most, more than all of them, just because he's a turkey, and it's right before Thanksgiving, so he should be nice and stuffed, right? Although this turkey is not going to end up on anybody's dinner table. He's going to have a prime spot hanging in my house somewhere on Thanksgiving. All right, I don't like to eat turkey anyway, so... No turkey is going to end up on my table. I think we're going to go for ham. Never been a fan of turkey. Um, anyway, back to back to the felt ornaments here. He's adorable. And I should say that each one of these, so after I had them all cut out, um, it took me about an evening, maybe two, on each of these of just watching a movie at night. So they stitched up really quick. There's not a lot of sequins in these, you know, not a lot of sequins, not a ton of embroidery. So overall, this kit stitched up pretty quickly. What else did I need to say about this? I don't think, 
Hmm, I don't think there was anything else I had to say about this. It was kind of fun because there's some running stitches on here, so I liked the fact that, that this kit had you venture out and try a few stitches. So you've got some straight stitch, some running stitch, and you'll see in a in my last one that I showed that there's actually some blanket stitch. So I really enjoyed the fact that they had me uh, step out of my comfort zone a little bit and try some different embroidery stitches. Okay, tricky. All right, next up I did this one right here, the little pumpkin decoration. And there is the blanket stitch along the edge, if you can see, which I have very little experience with blanket stitch. And uh, I got better as I went along. Uh, the only thing I didn't do with this, I didn't follow the directions uh, because I think I was supposed to attach the pumpkin and then do the embroidery so that it would give the pumpkin a little bit of dimension. But uh, I didn't do that and I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if you were to do this one, you might want to pay attention to that. All right, I never claim to be one to follow directions uh, all that well, but that's cute. There's the back, lightly stuffed. So like I said, three of them are lightly stuffed and three of them are not. And then the very final one I did, and this was probably the most time consuming, and I also did it wrong. The orange outline stitch was supposed to go on the brown leaf and the yellow leaf was, I think, was supposed to have uh, brown stitching. I don't know. I did it wrong, but it's a leaf. It's a fall leaf, so it, it still looks nice. Um, and the only thing they had you stuff on this was, was uh, were the two acorns, but the leaves themselves are not stuffed. So, um, yeah, I don't think there was anything much else to say about this. I thoroughly enjoyed working on this kit. Overall, I definitely give it five stars across the board. Um, it does seem like uh, the, well, this kit in particular didn't seem to have quite as much bling or as much uh, sequins as the Bucilla kits, but that's not to say that I couldn't have added more. I mean, you can bling up anything as much as you want. So, um, but yeah, I love this. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer uh, as best I can. And until next time, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.